Let's look at example two now. So notice in this picture, we've got half of the equilateral triangle. So here's my 60 degree angle, which means this is gonna be my 30 degree angle. And so now I'm gonna find the length of my missing sides. So the very first thing I wanna do is write down my ratio of my angles, 30, 60, 90. And then now I'm gonna write down the ratio of the side length. So if you remember, it was x, x times the square root of three and two x. So now I've gotta figure out which side length I know about. So I know about the side length that is 60 degrees. So 18 is opposite of the 16, so 18 goes here. So now I'm gonna set up my equation to figure out what is x. So 18 is equal to x times the square root of three. Now, as we learned a minute ago, this is multiplication. To undo multiplication, we're gonna use division. So we're gonna divide both sides by the square root of three. And so we have x is equal to 18 divided by the square root of three. But like we said before, it's not simplified when we've got a radical in the denominator. So we have to get rid of this radical in the denominator. So to do that, we're gonna rationalize the denominator. Or in other words, we're gonna multiply both the top and the bottom by the square root of three. So let's continue, let's keep simplifying. So on the top, I've got 18 times the square root of three. And as you, we've already learned, the square root of three times the square root of three is the square root of three times three, or the square root of nine, and the square root of nine is three. When we multiply a radical by itself, the whole point is to get rid of the radical, okay? To undo a square root, you square it, and that's basically what we're doing here. We're squaring this. So we've got three in the denominator, and we've got one more step to simplify. So what is 18 divided by three? So 18 divided by three is six. So X is equal to six times the square root of three. So now I know what X is. So six times the square root of three goes here. And so now to figure out the length of the hypotenuse, we're gonna double this. So two times six times the square root of three. Doubling that gives me 12 times the square root of three. So the length of my hypotenuse is 12 times the square root of three. So now I know all three of my sides and all three of my angles of this special right triangle, 30, 60, 90. My short leg is six times the square root of three. My longer leg is 18, and my hypotenuse is 12 times the square root of three.